What's going on ladies and gents, it's your boy Dak908 aka the Dig Dug himself, Monster Hunters and Monster Honeys, rejoice. We have more generations here and we have another monster. We have the Yukonlos or the Yukanlos, or I'd like to call him Uncle because pronunciation is dumb. Anyway, moving over, let's actually talk a little bit about this guy. This man actually is technically, oh my goodness, technically, I'm not trying to trigger anyone today. This man is technically a flying wevern. He is not an elder dragon, even though he has his own location where you have to fight him. He's not an elder dragon, even though he commands a huge portion of ice. He's not an elder dragon because somewhere deep inside his body are wings and I guess he doesn't fit the dichotomy of that of an elder dragon or whatever. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, granted, this is Yukonlos, aka Uncle, one of my favorite monsters to fight. He actually made his debut in. Can't remember, but um, I never fought him up until 4 Ultimate, truth be told. So that means he wasn't in the original game and he wasn't in Tri, or he wasn't in 3 Ultimate. So he had to have been on, in either Dose or Freedom Unite. In Portable 3rd. I know he was in Portable 3rd, but I don't know if he debuted in those or whatever. So somebody in the comments, hit me with them correct answers. Anyway, let's get to the the any any, the skinny ninny, the nitty gritty, if you will. Let's talk about this guy's weakness. Well, first up, as you can totally assume, since he's an ice monster, he is weak to that of fire. He's weak to fire, thunder, and then dragon. In that order. So in any respect, you can use either of those weapon elements and you can get as much damage put on them as you possibly can so pick anything you got I mean we've we're, we're here guys this is HR what is it seven HR seven I know you got some thunder I know you got some fire I know you got some dragon so I ain't got to be like please go and get some just know that that's what you got to do to bring it but speaking of you know weaknesses and whatnots and everything you have to kill this monster when you kill the monster you're gonna get materials when you get those materials you're gonna go and make equipment his equipment follows as such he has both blade and gunner armor because every monster in the entire game does except like certain monsters or not monsters but certain armors actually are only gunner or bow gunner but this man has both his abilities on his blade master set are very interesting almost to the point to where people are like why did they do this and when people like to make like making mix sets with that skill attack or sh razor sharp normally blunt edge mix sets they normally look at this guy's chest because when I see him it's very popular anyway you're looking at razor sharp attack up large and recovery level up now he has exactly two points of sharpness four points of attack and two points of recovery level in every piece of his armor for the blade master uh, so it's it's the same all the way up and down so that's why it's, it's easy to you know do the math and figure out what you got granted though you have no slots you have no slots when you do this neither blade master or bow gonna have slots but for the bow gunner armor you have attack large recovery level and pellet up okay that's your thing so if you're a uh, aerial heavy bow gun pellet shot kind of guy boom here you go uh, I'm kidding. You guys are kind of... Actually, you guys are kind of fun. I like fighting with those guys. They're, they're, they're kind of cool. Anyway, his armor, that's it. He only has one one thing. Where his his other, you know, a, a family member, if you will, his, you know, the Cantor or aunties, I like to refer to them as, because they're practically the same monster. They have the same, you know, makeup, so to speak. They do a couple of the same things, whatever. But auntie actually has the R variant, but Yukonlos does not have that. Um, but that's the armor. Armor is actually pretty good. I'm currently making the armor. Currently making the armor. I think I'm only shy one part or whatever. But um, to actually fight this guy is actually, it's, it's pretty tough. He is very hard. So making his armor or making a couple of his weapons are going to be kind of difficult. Speaking of his weapons, though, his weapons leave much to be desired. If you if you like Gameth weapons or something, you know Gameth weapons have like what negative twenty affinity, I think negative fifteen, negative something like that affinity but it has really high attack, then you might like, you know, Yukonlo's weapons because they're the same build. They have some of the highest attack in the game, but they have, like, no affinity. They actually also have some defense, so that's cool. You have defense on your weapon as well, so that's that's what's up. Uh, they have really high attack, like, really high attack. The ice isn't that much. I mean, like, what? Like, like an average of, like, 16, 17 ice? Not that good. There's better. But if you really, really like high attack, I mean, that, that, that could be your thing. Because, like, yo, I have his uh, great sword that has, like, 250 on the attack. That's insane, okay? That's stupid. But if, you know, if that's your thing, if you like attack, that could be your thing, you know? Or if you have, like, I don't know, chain crit on a set, or you have, like, a critical eye set, and you're just like, yo, give me that raw attack, 
um, that, that's that's good for you. In terms of sharpness, though, his sharpness kind of leaves much to be desired. I mean, maxed out sharpness, too. You only get a little bit of blue in most cases. Uh, but you do have a pretty decent amount of green, like quite a bit of green. Not like a Cantor green, but still a lot of bit of green. But, you know, with the lack of actual sharpness, you know, it kind of makes you wonder if there's a skill out there that takes, you know, advantage of the fact that, you know, green sharpness or something. I wonder. Hmm. Anyway, suggested way in which you should fight this guy. Um, honestly, yo, you better bring your killer team, bro. You had better bring that killer team. I'm just saying, this, like I said, this guy hits really hard. Um, he slaps people, like, indiscriminately, okay? Yo, he doesn't care. This man doesn't care. He, his roar is a roar, and then when he roars, ice falls from the sky. I mean, so you think you're safe, but you're not safe. So, you better come here with some serious defense, guys. I mean, like, like, real talk. Find that arms that you got and damn near max it out, okay? For, running 400 in some chains with this guy isn't necessarily going to happen if you plan on living very long. I mean, this set right here has 611 defense. I was getting tossed around, okay? I was getting tossed around. I'll do my best to actually fight him straight up, but I was getting tossed around. So, bring some defense. Bring the homies. I mean, yo, the killer team. Bring those guys. Um, bow guns are gonna do very well against him because he's big, he's lubbering, you can't miss him. He is slow. He hits very hard, but he hits slow. So bow gunners, you guys should be very good when it comes to fighting him. He has armor on his front arms, so if you're gonna be attacking, if you don't have really high uh, sharpness as this, like a like a white or something like that, you wanna like stay close to his hind legs. Now, the greatest hit zones actually hit this guy if you don't have that great sharpness is to hit him in the head and his tail area. Because these things actually have the, you know, the, the biggest, you know, weak spots on them. But his arms, front arms, are great weak zones as well. But you don't have the sharpness to attack that. Okay, so... Think about that. When you go to attack this guy. You have to be, you have to be wary of, like, the things that he does. Whenever you see him, like, rise up on his two legs to actually go for a roar, you better either get out of the way, use your adept to get... Adept is good. Adept is good. Uh, Ariel is also really good. Because... The longer he's not attacking and you're beating him up, the better. Uh, but that's pretty much everything I got for you guys when it comes to fighting him. Bring whatever weapons that you're actually really good with. He is slow, so any weapon will actually be really good against him. He's slow and he's big, so longsword users, go go at it, bro. You might not even trip nobody unless you're all going for the same area or something like that. Um, he has a laser beam. Watch out for that. Uh, he doesn't like shoot like he used to, but it does... Um, do massive damage, so you're really gonna have to watch out for his laser beam. You're gonna have to watch out for him digging on the ground and ch uh, not chaining. That heck, doesn't make any sense. Following a particular target, he does a couple of other random attacks, but you just really need to watch out for the big, big stuff, okay? He hits hard, guys, so you should be good if you fight this guy. Hopefully, my tips actually, you know, gave you a little bit of help. Um, definitely bring some friends. I totally recommend at least one bow gun when coming to fight this guy. Pierce, if you will. Uh, take advantage of his huge body. And you should be in fairly good hands. But, you know, it's been your boy Dag908, aka the Dig Dug himself. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked the video, go ahead and hit it with that like. If you didn't like the video, hit it with the dislike. It doesn't matter. It's all your opinion. But I'm down to share my information and help everybody out in any which way I can. That's all I do. I love to help you guys out. But without further ado, it's been your boy. Deck 908. I said this like five times already. Take care. Desire Center in your favor. Let it be, please. Because, I mean, like, yo, he, this guy actually kind of gives you stuff for free. But whatever. Desire Sensors. I mean, you could be doing other things, right? Other monsters. Yeah. Farming other things. I mean, actually farming. Like, yo, do you know how hard it is to actually farm strawberry strawberries? Like, I grow strawberries, and they're kind of difficult. They kind of don't like to stay up. It might just be, the f like, the soil or something. But my strawberries, they don't tend to you know stay up but i don't know maybe the soil